Hello, Abraham. Thank you. Yeah. All right, this is going to be briefer than you want it to be. <laughs> so, this first conversation, we want you to focus not just so much on what you came intending to talk about, but what hatched in you as a result of what you heard just now. Yeah. Everything you shared shifted what I wanted to ask until now. We know that. And so. We just didn't want you to revert back. Okay, I won't. I'll try not to. Satisfaction and identifying something that I want and moving towards it. What is something that I can do and take away from here and knowing what I now know that will enhance my ability to find and stabilize and maintain my alignment and allow that momentum to build All right, here so it that is. what I here have in the vortex manifests. Here it is. We don't want to be flippant about it. Try less. Which requires a conscious trusting that the process works and that your life has put it there and that it's real and it's big and it's becoming and that it's yours and that it's not going anywhere it's not going to get away from you so your work is not to try to think about it your work is to focus yourself into a state of allowing it into your experience for example this is not about you it's an example can you think of anything that is common in human experience that is troubling to most people relationships and as you think <laughs> and as you think about relationships think about a primary relationship that is troubling to most people mating so let's focus upon someone in a situation where they have something that they desire relative to another person and it doesn't seem to be coming about and so they have been studying deliberate creation they're hearing it from us and from others they've been hearing it in their society for a long time goal setting intentionality and so they have a sort of determination within them to get this right and so someone maybe like us or anyone is having a conversation with them about this issue that they have and so they say something like yeah I'm having problems with my relationship so you can feel where that vibration is now there's a magnificent relationship in their vortex but they have no access to it because they're so aware of the current relationship that they are living and so they decide to go to work on this relationship so we say well let's talk about it a little bit and then they say yeah it's not good I want it to be better which doesn't give them any satisfaction because it's pulling in the opposite direction of what they want so we say well let's talk about this and then they say well I've been thinking a lot about it in preparation for my conversation with you and these are the things about it that I want to be different I really want us to talk more to be in more communication with each other but in that conversation this person is focused upon not enough conversation with each other I really want my partner to understand me which emphasizes the fact that they don't have good communication and the partner doesn't understand them I really want my partner to come home from work and be glad that we are together which emphasizes the fact that the partner doesn't come home and doesn't seem to be interested and so everything that this person is doing in an effort or an attempt to get it the way they want it to be is actually counterproductive because it's actually talking about things as they are because that's the perspective that this person holds which is the reason that they want to have the conversation further they've been having the conversation with almost everybody they know they're talking about it incessantly they can't find anything other than that and so almost everything that they're doing about this goal that they have or this hope or dream that they have is not satisfying because they are believing that they have to make it happen and in the making it happen they want to analyze it they want to explain it they want to explain their point of view and most of all they want to be the right one they want to be right about this I know I'm right and I know that if my partner would just do more of the things that I think are the right thing to do we'd get along better and so without even knowing it they're just writhing in the discord in their own being when all along over here is this massively improved gloriously wonderful relationship that's waiting for them because every time they struggled they put a positive piece over there and then 
they want to have a conversation about what I should do and what we want everyone to understand about everything that they desire is that they have already created what they want and now they have to find a path of least resistance or a path of most allowance to it which means you can't keep regurgitating how things are because your awareness of how they are is what's preventing you from going where you want to go and that's why we say you gotta chill but that requires in most cases and this is the sales job we're doing on all of you here we want you to accept that the process is real we want you to accept that you've already done that step one you have done the asking and that step two has been accomplished because your inner being has been all over it and the resources of the universe and the law of attraction have already gathered all of the cooperative components no matter what it is that you are creating whether it's a love with someone whether it's an empire whether it's a big pile of money whether it's something material it doesn't matter what the desire is it has been vibrationally accomplished now humans you get out there ahead of yourself because it doesn't feel accomplished to you until you can see it and so you keep looking for it where it isn't and then you keep coming to the expectation that it's hard or that it's slow or that it's going to take more goal setting I just need to be more clear I want something I want this thing that I do not have and I want this thing that I do not have and I want it to come quickly because I'm uncomfortable in not having it okay well that gets you nowhere that just nails your feet to the floor and holds you in this place and so you have to accept that it is vibrationally done and if something is done don't you want to move toward it and can you move toward it and away from it at the same time and can you feel that if you feel frustration if you feel tension that you're moving away from it and that when you relax you're moving toward it you're moving